I'm Rhys Yates and I'm the driver of the Bretex Rally Team. My dad used to race bikes, always raced two wheels, always, yeah, he's always done something or done something adventurous or something, so it kind of was bred into us, so we were always introduced to it from an early age. We had a little Pee Wee 50, which, little Yamaha, but eventually you get a bit older and you start to, you start to think about stuff a little bit more and that motocross game and two wheels, is, it's a crazy sport and then introduces you into four wheels where the adrenaline's still there but it's a safer, I'd say it was safer. I've got massive support from my family, especially, you know, from my dad, and he tell you now that he's not living his dream through me, not at all. He wants to give me the best opportunity that I can have, and, you know, I appreciate that, and he has given up his favourite car and stuff like that so I can be here. Yes, my beloved Porsche um, was sold reluctantly. Um, didn't last for so long. Um, it was nice why I had the vehicle and we had some nice trips out in it, but um, it was the only way I could really inject enough sort of cash into the family pot to make the investment required on this on this car. They call it cheap rallying, uh, these world champions and wealthy folk, but um, there's no such thing as cheap rallying, I can assure you. So yes, sadly, the Porsche's gone. <laughs> so maybe one day uh, it may come back. The sales pitch was that That'll be your car as well, Dad, you know, you can drive that, but he doesn't ever want to drive it because he wants me to drive it all the time. So, yeah, he has sacrificed a lot and I do appreciate it and he's, he's given me the best opportunity I can have. More tea, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> the team consists of Carl Williamson, which is my co-driver, and then I've got two lads, Andrew Smith, and we call him Smith, and Carl, shoulders Carl. They work on the car, they're spanning on the car. Um, and then I guess the team manager, the team boss, who, who you know, who keeps all on my toes is, uh, is my dad, John Yates. You know, you need to have a good infrastructure around you and I think if you've got a good team around you, then you'll be comfortable. My job as a father, first and foremost, is to make sure Reese is safe, is in the best equipment we can afford to put him in and it's well prepared. And the associated products on the car complement that. So as a team manager, my first and foremost priority is to make sure we've got the best products and we feel Prestone with its cooling agent and its, its cleaning properties for the windscreen does what it says on the tin, which is very, very important. It's a perfect uh, fit for ourselves. Before the event, my rituals are, I always, without fail, clean my ears, left to right, every time, clean my ears, I like to clean them so I know I can listen to co-drive. I'm like, well, if I ain't got my ears cleaned, I might be able to hear him, so I'm going to clean them. So after that bumper section, you know, with that flat crest. Where, where you hit the duck after the, on the recce. Yeah. You know, there's two sides to Reese. People don't really see the determination of Reese. I think he sort of walks around, you know, carefree, smiley face, and I think already in the paddock they've christened him as the smiler. You're always smiling, but beneath, make no mistake, he is a determined character. My biggest success in four wheels, for, I'd say, my first real season in a rally car, I got MSA English Championship. We got a lot of trophies that year. My advice for people, you know, trying to get into the sport is just don't do it. No, I'm joking. It's a roller coaster, it's a mental roller coaster. You do well, you put in a ditch, but it is good fun, and I'd recommend try it out, dip your toe in the water, and get on a rally school and just do a day where you can go and have a drive or a, a rally car and just see how it feels first. And then if you do like it, then I started and did single venue events, which are all based on one venue where it's not as dependent on your co-driver. So you can still feel the car, have some fun, still listen to your co-driver. And then if you do like it from there, then go into your stage rally in there. Maurice handles himself very well as well. I'm very proud of how he handles himself. I think. 
you've just got to be careful not to be an external prima donna. I think he keeps all his driving determination canned up, ready for releasing when he needs to release it, and where you see a lot of riders, um, you know, sort of um, strutting around like the seven times world champion. So you're not going to get that with Reese. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, really good. I'm really, really proud of him. So my hopes for this year in the BRC is just keep building on my confidence in the car and keep building on results for definite. I think I have got results in my mind that I do want to, you know, we all, I always say you have a laugh and you have a, you know, you, you have to have a joke and stuff, but I am super competitive and I don't, I don't like losing and no one else likes losing. And that's, yeah, I have got some results that I do want to hit. So it's just about building speed and keep building experience. That's the main thing. And you've got to do it with a smile on your face. <laughs>